Hey guys, Aaron Meister here with IDI. Just wanted to go through a very, very common issue we see in the field. Uh, it doesn't matter what machine you have. In this instance, we're gonna be using the Reactor 2E30, but no matter what machine you have, it's a common problem across every single one of them. And that is a pressure imbalance situation where each of these gauges um, go 500 pounds off from each other. That, that'll make the A side be high and the B side be low or vice versa. So. When that happens, uh, there's two things you really, really need to know about uh, to, to help you troubleshoot the issue. First thing is, what is not coming out of my gun? All right, most of the time the situation happens when you pull the trigger. Uh, if you get B heavy foam, that means your problem is automatically on the A side. We're trying to figure out what we're missing. All right, if we have uh, A heavy foam, then we're gonna be looking at an issue on the B side. All right, the other thing we need to, we need to know is what are the gauges saying? Which one's higher, which one's lower? So a really easy way to troubleshoot this is to have a, a simple chart, all right? When you look at this chart, you have a line down the middle separating the A and the B side. So we got A on the left and we have B on the right. Now we have a pressure gauges here. That's indicative of our pressure gauges. We have a, a line right down the middle. So everything on the high side is gonna be uh, everything in front of our gauges out to our gun and everything on the low side is going to be everything behind our gauges back to our drum. So when we look at this, again, we're going to cut the machine right down the middle. We got the A side, we have the B side. And we're going to cut it right behind the gauges and we're looking at the low pressure side being the, the supply side, everything behind the gauges back to the drum. And for troubleshooting purposes, the high pressure side is, is the gun and everything in front of the gauge. So once we figure out whether we're ISO rich or resin rich, we can actually use the chart and figure out where our problem is. Imagine I'm, I'm resin rich. That means my problem's automatically on the A side. So I'm gonna fold this in half. I'm only looking at the A side of the issue, A side of the system, all right? When, when I walk in the trailer and I notice that my A side pressure gauge is high, higher than my B side, my gauge is pointing at the issue. I'm, I'm looking at a gun issue on the A side. All right, if I walked in here and the A side pressure gauge was lower than my B side, I'm pointing at the supply side and I'm checking everything behind the gauge. So that's pretty, pretty basic. Um, once you get to do it a few times, you're gonna pick it up. You're gonna, you're gonna instantly know exactly where to look. If you ever need anything, feel free to reach out to us. We have a great tech team who's troubleshot this problem a thousand times, almost a thousand times a year, I, I would imagine. So thanks for, thanks for joining us today. Aaron Meissner, IDI Distributors. Hope you have a great one. Give us a call.